In this video, you're going to learn about two very useful windows that allow you to view and update variables. So let's place a breakpoint and run our project in debug mode. Normally, if you wanted to examine the values that you have, you would hover over the relevant variables and examine them one by one. There is a different way to do this. Go to debug, windows, and open the following two windows, autos and locals. Now, if you look at the locals window, you'll see a list of all the available variables in the current scope. In this case, we see everything that's inside the execute method, which has a collection of users and everything defined in the for each loop, which has a variable for a single user instance. Now you might straight away be asking, what about those two values we passed to the print method? The first one's a method. Just move one step forward using the F10 key and recheck the locals window. You'll notice a message stating that getDateString method returned a certain value. Now, in case of the second one, it's a constant from another class. The locals window doesn't pick those up. No worries though, that's where autos window comes in. If we switch to it instead, you'll notice that it has the label constant listed. What this window does is list the values available in the current and the previous line of code. So this will include the date method result, the label constant, the user, and the username. The user's collection, however, will be missing since it's not used in either the current or the previous line. Now, besides all this, there are a couple other neat things you can do in this window. One, you can search for specific items if needed. Let's say we want to find the age property. The search depth on the right determines how deep into the objects listed it will end up searching. If we set it to one, it will just look for items we see right now. In our case, the age property is one level deeper inside the user object. So we're going to set it to 2. Now type in the search term, press enter, and voila. Now besides that, you can also modify values from here and do things like change the username. Now do bear in mind that these fields can evaluate expressions. So you can do neat things like set the username to uppercase. And there we go. You now know how to use autos and locals window.